coverage that I would add on there is soft cost coverage. And that covers everything that has to do with, um, if you have a, uh, if you have a claim and um, your time gets stretched out, so you have interest penalties from the bank, or you have to extend your financing, or you have to remarket, or you have to do new drawings, or you have to do new permits, or any of that kind of stuff, it's coverage to cover that off. And I did have a, um, a situation where I had a basement collapse, uh, like a wall collapse with, from an underpinner in a house that I was insuring for the, for the building owner, and um, it set him back two years. So we had uh, the soft cost that he had incurred. I, he had never heard of soft cost before. So I, when, we, when I offered him the policy, I said, well, let's put it in for 100 grand. Like how much does it cost you to get all your permits and stuff? And he said, hundred thousand dollars. Like we're, we're going to put a hundred grand in. I think the coverage costs fifty dollars to do that. And um, I met with him after the the project got back on the rails. I said, okay. So he said, thank God you you, you put that soft cost thing in there because I've spent ninety nine thousand dollars right now. I got a thousand to go, and that's it. And I'm out of pocket. So thank God you got me to convince me to buy that, spend that fifty bucks, right? Um, so. Just to kind of finish up, you want to confirm the value of the current building, secure renovation or builder's risk coverage, okay, to, to deal with the construction side, um, update the liability um, to make sure that you're covering off the liability piece. Uh, again, it was, if it was me, if I was hiring a contractor, I get him to put me on his policy so that he's responsible for what happens in my space. Um, so I would ask him to be, add me as initial insured, ensure all the contractors are insured. So my the, one of the problems with that underpinning guy situation was the underpinner actually on the day that the went through the wall, his insurance policy was not in place. It was horrible. It was horrible. So he had, he, I guess he hadn't paid for the insurance and because of the size of the claim, the insurance company said, Hey, you haven't paid me too bad. It's not in effect. So that's one where they went, Hey, we got out of a big claim. So the guy that wound up picking up the tab for that was a general contractor because he was the one that, that had signed the, to be, to warrant that everybody on the job site had uh, coverage when they were on the site. So again, if, if nothing goes wrong, you can skate around a lot. When something happens, all of a sudden, all, all the words matter, all the terms matter, all the conditions matter, all the limits matter, all that stuff matters, and you just don't wanna get caught.